You have called the Melbourne East Police Station. If you require urgent police assistance, hang up and dial triple zero. If you would like to speak to a police officer, press one. For property, press two. MTU, press three. Youth Resource Officer, press four. Crime Prevention Officer, press five. Planning Office, press six. Thank you. Melbourne East Police Constable speaking. Uh, good afternoon, sir. My name is Mark Stevens. I'm calling from Phoenix, Arizona. I uh, do a radio show and I was inter interested in speaking to somebody at the police department uh, regarding the application of Australian law. Okay. Uh, what sort of area are we looking at? Uh, well, the, just the basic application. The, the generalization, no matter where you happen to be, seems to be that if you're physically in Melbourne or another part of, let's say, Victoria, that yep. uh, the Australian constitution and laws and the local laws apply to you just because you're physically in Melbourne. Uh, yes, that's the case, yep. I just want to know if you have any actual evidence to prove that that's true. Uh, what do you mean? So because, because you're in the country that the law applies, is that what you're asking me? Well, I'm asking, since that's the, the generalization or the argument or the opinion is that if you're physically in Melbourne, all the laws of the, uh, of the state apply to you, I want to know what evidence there is, if any, that actually proves that. Uh, that would be based on our legal system. So going through, um, do, you, do you know how our, our legal system works at all? Like, do you, have, do you have a rough understanding of how our laws are passed and everything? Or Oh, yeah, it's, 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 I, yeah. It's, it's sort of similar. I, I believe it's sort of similar to the American system where, um, you know, it goes to the lower... Like, they produce... A, they set a bill and they um, it goes to the lower lower house um, and passed through the Senate and then signed off. Um, then it's enacted into, into law. Um, well, I understand that. I just yeah, know, yeah, okay. I, I want to know if there's any evidence that it actually applies to me just or someone uh, like my, some of my friends who actually live in Melbourne. If there's any okay. evidence to prove that just because I'm physically in Melbourne, these laws apply to me? Um, <laughs> I've, I've never had this question before in my life. Um, well, it's, uh, it's, it's just the same as anywhere. It's obviously in the Constitution and uh, the... Um, What's it called? The a doctrine. Um, there is an actual document about um, oh, about I can't even think what it's called, man. It's got me at this time in the morning. Um, well, I know you mentioned the Constitution because that's usually what I'll say. That what evidence is there, if any, of the show that just because I'm physically in Melbourne or in Victoria, that the Constitution would have any application to it? Yeah. Um, Two seconds, man. Are you looking for a career, not for just a job? Then why not accept the challenge and join the Victoria Police? Information on becoming a police officer may be obtained by contacting our recruitment information line. The number to call is 132001. That's 132001. Hello, Councilman. I'm sorry, what was your name, sir? Councilman. How can I help you, mate? Uh, well, uh, well, first, g'day, and uh, I'm a journalist from from Phoenix, Arizona, and 
and I'm asking a question. I can't remember the name of the uh, the police officer who I was just speaking to, but uh, the yeah. question that I have is, and he agrees with the with the typical generalization, whether it's the U.S. or Canada or, or Australia, that if that if you're physically in Melbourne, then the laws of the state and uh, the Constitution apply to you just because you're physically in Melbourne. And so my question to him, and and uh, he wasn't able to answer, was yeah, no. if there was any actual evidence to prove that. To to prove to prove what, mate? I I, I sorry, you you your question might have gone over my head. What, what what is it you're asking? If if someone's not there, oh, you confuse me. Do, explain to me again what you're trying to say. Well, the generalization is that, and this is the way the Melbourne police seem to operate, and all the police in Victoria or all, all over Australia is that if if I'm physically in Melbourne or somewhere yeah. in Victoria, then the the constitutional laws of of Australia and the state of uh, Victoria apply to me just because I'm physically in Melbourne. I just want to know if there's any evidence to actually prove that. Uh, Legis are you talking if there's any legislation saying that if, if you're in Victoria, then the laws of Victoria apply to you? Is that what you're saying? I just want to know if there's evidence. Yeah. I already have the laws, and we already have what the... And, and what, do you, what, do you mean, what do you mean by evidence? You know, facts. Facts that tend to prove a certain proposition. Your proposition that you guys operate under is if you are physically in Melbourne, the Constitution the laws of the state apply to you, and I want to know if there's any facts to actually prove that. To prove that you're in Victoria no, no, now, no, is that no, what you're to saying? Prove that just because I'm in Victoria, the laws of the state apply to me. I oh, look, mate. I have no idea what you're trying to say. You, you, I don't understand. You, you're trying to ask me. You're trying to get me to give you evidence to prove that you're in Victoria, and therefore, if you're in Victoria, the laws of Victoria apply to you. Is that what you're saying? No, I see, I see it as a non sequitur. You have two, two issues here that you're trying to jam together as if they're true. If my physical location in Melbourne automatically means the laws of, of the state apply to me, I just want to, to bridge that non sequitur there and get some evidence, if any, to actually prove that. I don't believe that there is any evidence. I believe you just apply the law because that's what you're told to do. But there's no actual evidence to show that the constitutional laws apply just because I'm physically in Melbourne. So I'm just trying to confirm that by asking you, since you're a police officer and presumably you and your associates are, are carrying out this... Uh, this uh, this concept every day that you see people in Melbourne and of course the law must apply and you must have jurisdiction to do what you're doing. I just want to, you know just establishing that uh, uh, again uh, directly from the police department themselves that there is no actual evidence. Mm. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I still don't really understand what you're trying to say, mate. I, I'm trying to get the I'm getting the impression that you're trying to go along with the contention that just because you're in the state that there's nothing there's no evidence to prove that those laws apply to you just purely because you're in the state. Well is that, is that what you're saying? Like is that what you're saying? Well that, what based on my investigation which I've done in Australia, England, I've done it in uh, Canada and all across the US here. I've spoken to many politicians, police officers, judges, and we've done this in the courts, in and out of the courts None, none of you guys who, who enforce the law or apply the law to everybody just because they're physically in Melbourne, you're never able to produce any actual evidence that that's true. That you're in Melbourne. No, no, no. That just because I'm in Melbourne, the constitutional laws of, our, uh, of, of uh, Victoria and in in Australia actually apply to me. Right. Look, I'll be honest with you, mate. I'm not 100% down with the constitutional law. I mean, we basically investigate offences against um, the criminal law acts within Victoria. Constitutional law is it's a Commonwealth constitution. So there's a lot of things that's within that Commonwealth constitution that I'm not 100% 100% um, yeah, sort of down on and have a total understanding of. Um, you might want to speak to a solicitor in relation to that, mate. Um, like I said, we investigate criminal law um, from within Victoria. Um, yeah, well, the questions you're asking uh, don't make a lot of sense to me in, in relation to the fact that I'm trying to say that, that just because you're in a state that those laws don't apply to you. Sort of, I don't know, I don't really know 
what angle you're going with there. Sort of doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, yeah, look, you might be best off speaking to, I uh, say, someone from your university who studies uh, constitutional Commonwealth law. Um, yeah, you probably rung the wrong rung the wrong place, mate. Well, you enforce the laws of Victoria. Yeah. And so you you are you asking me about constitutional law. Well, that's which included is, which is in that. That's just part of it. So the, the, the because the generalization, which I, I believe you you and your associate already agreed, is if you're if you're physically in uh, Melbourne or Victoria, then the laws yeah. of the state apply to you. And it's it's yeah. it's that generalization, it's that argument or opinion that I just want to see if there's any actual evidence to back that up. And so besides, you need you need you need to you need to research the legislation, mate. Okay, so you, you, you as a police station. officer would not be able to produce any facts or any, any evidence to show that I'm the laws you're enforcing look, actually apply, just because I'm of the sure, Melbourne. I'm sure it could be produced. But can you? I'm sure it could. I'm sure I could. You could? Well, I could. Am I, going to, am I going to right now for, this, for the purpose of this phone conversation? No, I'm not. I've got a lot more important things to do. Oh. But look, if it came to it, I'm sure it could be proven. All right? Um, but like I said... I'm pretty busy, mate. Um, I appreciate and that. if that's if that's if that's the end of your questions, I'll have to let you go, champ. Is there a supervisor or a chief that I can speak to? Probably not based on this, mate. Um, really? No. If I'm busy, I'm sure my supervisor is equally well, as busy. Who do I speak to uh, to set up an appointment? Um, look, maybe you could go on the internet and find um, go to the Victoria Police website. Sure, there might be someone you you know you might be able to get in contact with through those through those areas that might be able to help you. But speaking to a general uh, general duties um, police officer is probably not the uh, the area you're looking for, mate. But there might be some information on the on our internet page that might be able to put you in the direction of someone who might be able to help. All right. All right. Well, I do appreciate your time, mate. No worries. Cheers, mate. See ya. Cheers.